If you have a WebDAV server, it can act as a file server in the cloud. You can map network drives from anywhere. Thus you don't need a file server in each office. Mapping a WebDAV drive is very easy. However, if you try to map a WebDAV drive from a Windows server, you probably will run into a problem. It is because the WebDAV client service is not installed on server operating systems by default. You can easily install the WebDAV client service. You can launch Server Manager. Then install the WebDAV redirector feature. On Windows 2012, you need to install the Desktop Experience feature, which is included in the User Interface and Infrastructure feature. After installing the feature, reboot your server. You can then map a WebDAV drive from the server. You will need a WebDAV server name and a username and password on the WebDAV server. We will use DriveHQ's WebDAV server as an example. Launch Windows File Explorer, right-click on this PC or network, click Map Network Drive. Select a drive letter and enter a WebDAV URL for the folder path. Check connect using different credentials. Click finish, then log in with your username and password on the WebDAV server. It will map a drive and open a new file explorer window. You can right click on the drive name to change it to a more friendly name. WebDAV does not synchronize data between the server and the client. Thus it does not use local storage space. WebDAV supports file locking for group sharing and collaboration. Other cloud storage services usually cannot support it. A regular WebDAV solution has a few weaknesses, mainly on performance, reliability, and file size limit. DriveHQ's WebDAV service has been around for over 15 years. It is extremely easy, efficient and reliable if you use the Drive Mapping Tool software. For more info, please visit DriveHQ.com website and click Cloud Drive Mapping.